Today, we will talk about how to start a greeting card business from home. Let's have a look at the details. If you are into design and graphics and love to make your own greeting cards, starting your own greeting card company could be a great way to supplement your income or start a full-time business. There are a couple of ways to get started. One is to make cards directly for companies who hire freelance graphic designers. Another is to start your own greeting card company and sell products to companies or directly to customers. Some designers choose to do a combination of the two while they build their business. The first step is starting as a freelance designer. Find companies who look for freelance designers. The Greeting Card Association has a listing of members that accept submissions from freelance artists. You will need to contact them first before sending in any samples or submissions. Get Submission Guidelines Individual companies have specific guidelines for submitted artwork, including format, size, and medium. Make sure you are familiar with each company's guidelines before submitting something to them. Create samples that meet the company's guidelines. Create cards that correspond only to what they ask for as far as genre and themes. Keep trying, even when you face rejection. If you get denied by one greeting card company, move on to the next one. This is a business, so you can't take criticism personally. Don't be afraid to make changes suggested by editorial staff or other feedback they give you. Negotiate payment. Each company treats its freelance workers differently, but in most cases cards are accepted on a flat fee basis. If you are proposing a line of cards, then you may be able to negotiate royalties or an advance against future royalties. And, the second step is starting your own card line. Define your market. As you design a line of cards, remember that you want designs and messages that appeal to those audiences. Look for current trends. Good places to keep track of new greeting cards include card stores, craft fairs where people selling cards, and companies that sell online. Get feedback on your work. Give sample cards to family and friends to get feedback, especially if they are in your target market. Produce your cards. You can find a variety of materials for making cards in craft stores, including thick cardstock and delicate rice papers. Market your work. People need to know you are selling cards in order to buy them. For this kind of startup, the internet and face-to-face -face selling will be crucial to getting going. Set up your company. Talk to an attorney or accountant about setting up and structuring your company. There are a lot of financial and legal considerations that go into a new business, and you don't want to get in trouble because you missed something important. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you like our videos.